Hello viewers, welcome to another one more exciting video on Bangalore's real estate market. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I specialize in selling premium and luxury real estate across Bangalore with Colonial Banker, the world's largest real estate firm. And today, the topic, the most popular apartments in South Bangalore. To speak about this topic, we have our senior most partner, Gangadhar, who is a specialist in selling apartments, especially across South Bangalore. And if you are new here, click the subscribe now button and tap the bell icon so that we can notify you whenever we post such exciting videos. And without any further ado, let's begin the show. Welcome, Gangadhar. Thank you, Balaji. So, how was the year 2022 when it comes to apartment selling? So, 2022 was excellent. We had very good uh, uh, numbers, sale numbers in 2022, especially in uh, mid-segment and uh, little I-segment apartment selling. So, especially in South Bangalore, if you take a South Bangalore, uh, it come, you know, uh, if you divide it a locality, like, you know, Baswangudi, Jainagar, JP Nagar, Banshankri, Kanakpura Road and Banargata Road and the BTM layout. These are the major areas covers, comes under uh, South Bangalore. So all these locations, if you take older Bangalore like Jainagar, JP Nagar, Basangudi, there are not much land to build a new apartment. So Gangadhar, what are the popular apartments in around these areas of South Bangalore? And why it is popular? Balaji, when, when it comes to a South Bangalore, uh, there are major uh, areas, you know, like Baswangudi, Jainagar, JP Nagar, Banshankri, Kanakpura Road, and Banargata Road, and BTM layout. So these are the major area comes under South Bangalore. So when it when you take you know all these locations, a major apartments are like you know when you segregate uh, location wise, Jainagar like you know Shoba Opal, uh, you know uh, Pramukh Meridian, uh, there is a Shoba Dew Flower, Prestige Brooklyn Heights, and the and uh, Vaishnavi Terrace. These all comes under uh, Jainagar, JP Nagar are very famous and you know, highly demanded uh, project. When it comes to uh, Banshankri, there are not much apartments. There are only few very Tata Promant and uh, Prestige, Sudden Crest and Sterling Terrace. When it when it comes to a uh, Kanakpura Road, there are a lot of projects. Come when it comes to older one or a new one. Starting from uh, metro station, there is Shriram Southern Crest, Maya Indraprastha. Then if you go a little further, there is a Century uh, put up an apartment. And very famous in South Bangalore, now talk of town is uh, Prestige Falcon City. This is one of the long, landmark project in uh, South Bangalore. On the same road, if you continue, there are a lot of projects are upcoming, like Mahindra, they are coming up with a new project. Mantri Serenity, this completed project. When it comes to a Banargata road, starting from Banargata Jaideva, there is a lot of apartments. Older if you take Shoba Magnolia, Mantri Elegance, Mantri Elite, SNN uh, apartment are there. To go a little further, Mahindra, they have put up a very good premium project called Mahindra Wind Champs, then uh, Mantri uh, Pinnacle Heights, then Prestige Elysian, Prestige Pass Square. So these are the major apartments in uh, South Bangalore. All the time it is demanded and you know it's very easy to sell. So the most popular being the Falcon City you mean to say in the Kanakpura Road. I, uh, yes. I can understand that Kanakpura Road is the most demand, in demand location as of now in Bangalore. Uh, especially in the South Bangalore area because the metro connectivity is excellent. Correct. And uh, I heard that uh, recently we saw in the news that uh, you know of course we visited also. Uh, Prestige has opened the Falcon City Mall, one of the biggest malls uh, in Bangalore. And uh, maybe that is the reason uh, Falcon City is very popular or what are the reasons Falcon City? Can you talk us, can you take us through the features, benefits of this uh, society, uh, Falcon City and uh, uh, give us some in-depth information about this uh, project? See, you rightly said Kanakpura Road in South Bangalore, it is one of the highly demanded uh, uh, road compared to Banargata Road. Earlier it was Banargata Road, slowly it shifted to Kanakpura Road. The major reason is the metro. Hmm. And when it comes to a Falcon City, the location, the location point connects all across Bangalore. From Falcon City, it is very easy to travel to a Jainagar, JP Nagar, Banargata Road, Electronic City. You know, people wants to go Mysore Road. It's very you know easy to connect with a nice road and you know get out from the traffic. Talk about the project. You know, it built on about close to 40 acres land. In one of the you know, it creates a own city. That's the reason I think the prestige of might have named as a Falcon City 
because it's very huge community it mm. is about around 3 2000 2 2500 2, apartments yeah. very huge community and if you take south bangalore there are no such kind of a big project so people prefers that kind of a project with lot of high class amenities you name the amenities you, you get everything mm. and you know the other reason is very close to the station the metro station is just a walkable distance mm. and uh, prestige newly opened a forum value mall you get all branded showrooms restaurants inox is there to open there is a theater mm. so that is the reason main reason is uh, there is lot of demand in that uh, project so 2 and 1/2 thousand apartments spread across 40 acres and uh, this is uh, how many towers or how many buildings we can say and uh, how many number of floors and what are the typical configurations like one bedroom two bedroom two and a half three bedroom four bedrooms okay just take us through those uh, details so this is uh, about close to 40 acres land uh, there are five buildings each building will have a four towers okay so total put together uh, around 2550 apartments roughly and uh, there comes with two two and a half three and four bedroom so the price range Will sizes be, before we talk about the price uh, can you throw us some size so two bedroom uh, will come in the range you know the size of 1200 to 1274 is the size when it comes to a two and a half it's about 1370 square feet when it comes to a three bedroom starting from 1600 it goes up to 2100 mm. so four bedroom range is about 2700 square feet okay so when it comes to the price uh, two bedroom in the range of about 1 crore 40 1 crore 50 lakhs three bedroom start from about close to about 1 crore 90 1 crore 95 lakhs it goes up to 2 and a half 3 crore the three bedroom right. and the four bedroom minimum 3 and a half crore that is a ticket size now the prevailing price and uh, i'm sure builder must not have much uh, inventories or builder would have completely sold the inventories no, their they inventories have, they have they have sold uh, uh, quite long back okay and so, so what are all the sales which is happening is only investor stock and the resale stocks yes. can you tell us uh, about something about rentals also because 2500 apartments there are i'm sure many people would want to if they not able to buy mm. or if they are wanting to temporarily move in and stay there what are the availabilities options there are plenty there are availabilities there mm. is good demand for rental options there so you the, the moment you uh, you know the present tenant vacates within you know weeks time you you get a tenant there is a lot of demand for rental and the value also is very high mm. when it comes to a two bedroom you easily will, you it will fetch you 35000 rupees rent 35 to 40000 mm. three bedroom above 50 the four bedroom it will easily fetch you about 70000 so there is lot of demand and what is the maintenance cost uh, so right now right now they are charging about 3 rupees 80 paise per square feet per square can you tell us about uh, who are all these sellers and who are all the buyers i mean why people have to sell and uh, of course the, we have talked about uh, the the reasons why people need to buy mm. but can you uh, throw some color with respect to the profile who are all buying like you know the it people the business people what are what are the types of people who are buying what is the family size and things like okay that. see last 21 and 22 whatever we have sold it belongs to all investors so uh, you know e- initially the prestige uh, known for investor stock so all this two years we sold investor stocks so all most of the 90% of their investor they bought it for investment they resold it mm-hmm. the buyers you know as you said it all variety kind of a buyers mm-hmm. you name it businessman or, or aged people you know who had a property in jaynagar jp nagar they used to stay in independent house you know they want to sell and they want to experience the uh, apartment concept so those are the t- you know buyers are more there so we spoke about falcon city in length so if we have to move away from falcon city what is the next best consideration the buyers are considering so if you take on kanakpura road there are uh, you know upcoming project if you take the mahendra is coming with uh, on aladu village road that is uh, one of the good project if you go little further again uh, total environment they they uh, constructing a phase 2 that is also excellent project to consider so at present uh, these are the two project not that kind of a size property there are many projects are under construction but we cannot compare with that kind of a size so uh, gangadhar according to you uh, the buyer's choice is it a one bedroom two bedroom two and a half bedroom three bedroom four bedroom what is the choice the buyers are putting their money into a more demand towards larger three bedroom and a four bedroom right uh, likely said you know there is a demand for a two two and a smaller three bhk also but supply is there 
Okay. But when it comes to a larger three bedroom and a four bedroom, supply is less. So that's the hot cake. Hot cake and demand is more. So we are not able to match that uh, demand and supply. What I gauge from this conversation is uh, 2022 was all about ready to move in projects. So people really wanted after the COVID, uh, they really wanted to transition into a bigger home. And whichever was ready, uh, they were ready to pay the premium or whatever was the market price, they were ready to pay and settle down. So what do you think 2023 is going to be? 2023 also will be con continue the same. Okay. So because you know, uh, people are ready, preferably looking for a ready to move in apartment. See, because because they had uh, you know bad experience with the completion of the you know delay and completion. You no, know, uh, most of the builder they have not kept their promise, whatever they initially promised to the buyer. So now the, the buyer segment is very clear. They don't mind paying 10, 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs ready to more price when it comes to a ready to move in project. They What they see, they'll buy. So that is the concept now. Okay. So under construction, there are people, depends on the builder to builder. So this, uh, when it comes to the financing such uh, apartments from the buyer side, so are they coming with their own funds or they are raising finance? And if they're raising finance, what kind of percentage of finance the financiers are ready to fund for such on a 100% uh, purchase price? It's a good time to answer this question. Uh, you said there is a lot of demand nowadays for the apartment. The reason is the legality. <clears throat> when it comes to an apartment, you know, for a buyer, it's very clear that 99.9% are legal clear. It's all approved by all the major banks. So when, it, when, it, when you go for a buying a site or an independent house, you have to go through all legal lessons. So when it comes to an apartment, it's very easy, you know, that's the reason the demand for apartment is going up. So as you said, you know, most of the buyers, like if you take out of 10, eight people will go for a bank loan. So most of the working class people, they go for a bank loan. All these projects are approved by all major banks. So they will be funded up to 75 to 80% depend on their uh, credibility and uh, uh, financial. I'm sure buyers are very happy about uh, titles being clear 99.9% .9 and uh, availability of easy finances to fund uh, such purchases. Just for the benefit of our audience, Gangadhar, can you again name the apartments, the most popular apartments in South Bangalore because we have promised them that these are all going to be the most popular apartments in South Bangalore. Start, start with some names so that they know what to look for. Okay, sure Balaji. Uh, I'll start from uh, Basungudi. Basungudi, uh, not much project. I'll start, you know, uh, Swasa Homes. Uh, Skyland Chalet and there is a Brigade Classic Apartment. Concord is putting a, a, a you know Luxopolis apartment. These are the known uh, reputed project. So Jainagar, Shobha Opal, Manik Chan, Picasso, Adash Gardens, Adash Palace, Vaishnavi Paradise, Prestige Brooklyn Heights. And when it comes to a Jain, JP Nagar, Shobha Dewflower, Vaishnavi Terrace, Shilpa Laksh, Artisan uh, Forest Breeze, uh, Brigade Millennium, Brigade Palm Spring, Elita Promenade, and Brigade Gardens. So, Banargata Road, uh, Shoba Grandeur, Shoba Magnolia, Mantri Elegance, Mantri Elite, SNN Lake View, Mahendra Wind Chimes, Prestige Elysian, Prestige Pass Choir, Prestige Notting Hills. So, these are the major apartments. And Kanakpura Road, starting from Metro Station, Shiram Southern Crest, Maya Indraprastha, Century Central, Prestige Falcon City, Mantri Serenity, Total Environment Magic for Avatry, Mahendra Eden, and Prestige Lake Ridge, Rohan Akruti, and Chartered Beverly Hills. So, that's a quite uh, exhaustive uh, list of apartments. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, you know, our audience would be elated to know these names because many of the times I get comments that which are all the apartments which we can live, which is very good. And now they would definitely get an idea. Friends, not only Gangadhar has thrown you these names, uh, he's been selling, renting and assisting many buyers uh, uh, from the beginning on all these projects, whichever he has named. He's in and out, day in, day, in, day out, he's been doing transactions. He knows in and out of these communities. He's very familiar uh, about these projects and these localities. And if you have any apartment to sell, rent, or if you have a requirement to purchase in these projects, I would strongly recommend you to contact our specialist Gangadhar, who is, you know, by, by now you'll, you'll admit that he's a specialist in these projects. And his contact number and email IDs are flashing on the screen or would have mentioned in this video. So I would strongly recommend you to contact him for your uh, needs. And uh, thank you so much, Gangadhar, for covering all this uh, information uh, for us and for our audience uh, in this video. 
and uh, wish you all the best uh, for the year 2023 thank you bala ji i'll uh, wish you the same I'm glad to uh, have this opportunity thank you so much so i'm going to come out with another one more exciting video uh, very shortly so stay tuned i'll see you soon